What's up, Pisces gang? Gang, gang, gang. This is you guys' weekly hubcast for June 28th through the 4th. You guys are watching The Hubble Space, brought to you by Secrets Beyond the Tarot Terror Group. Go check us out on Facebook.com under The Hubble Space by SBT. Give me about 24 hours to accept your request. Um, thank you guys for all your love and support. Please continue to show the channel some love by simply pressing the thumbs up button, leaving a little comment, possibly, if you're feeling extra fancy. And subscribe if you fill in the vibes. So, um, for you guys, I have the beauty card along with um, the, uh, what is this card? Shit. Um, damn. The gift card. Damn, why can't I, why, why can't I get that out? Um, I feel like someone is starting to see the beauty in a connection here Pisces I feel like someone uh someone counted you out Pisces someone was sleep on you Pisces period <laughs> you know what I'm saying like somebody was sleep on you Pisces somebody literally um was not seeing the beauty in a connection with you they were not seeing your worth they weren't seeing um how much of a contribution you could be to a certain dynamic they had you fucked up period um this person was very doubtful uh about this connection this person did not feel like you were worthy of committing to uh for some of you this person could have just been very they weren't optimistic at all this person was very um skeptical about pairing with you in that way i feel like they are deeming this connection as a gift from the ancestors i feel like someone has went through a an, an awakening um someone has went through an awakening pisces i feel like um it could have definitely been a long time coming. I feel like someone was kind of forced into um, turning towards you. And I know that can't feel good, but that's that's what I'm getting wholeheartedly. I feel like someone could have experienced some type of tower moment. Somebody could have realized that um, the beauty they once thought was in someone else was in all actually in all actuality in you i feel like someone made the wrong choice someone made the wrong choice and i feel like someone here um this week pisces is being gifted a second chance there's going to be an encounter there's going to be a reoccurrence of a union a, a possible second chance at a union it's crazy because you see how this woman is <laughs> Pisces you see how this bitch in this card is looking <laughs> and this beauty card she like motherfucker so for a lot of y'all this person did have y'all fucked up this person was choosing everybody except y'all this person just was in denial, in complete and utter denial. They did not believe that you were they person. Um, you guys could have been uh, from two walks of life. You guys could have had different uh, upbringings, different backgrounds, different belief systems, um, different religious views, just a lot of different things um, to where this person was like, hell no, nah, I know. I know damn well that ain't my person. Like, there, nothing about this person sits right with me. Nothing about this person is relatable to me. Like, how on earth could I bring this person home to my mama? It doesn't necessarily have to be, because I know a lot of you guys from, from, from Jump Street thought like, oh, what is this person trying to say? Like, it's not all about the external. It's not all about looks. Um, but this person could have been very shallow. This person could have been very materialistic. Maybe they didn't think that you, um, you know, were a hard worker. Maybe they thought you were lazy. Maybe they didn't think that you, um, maybe they just didn't feel like they had enough information about you. So they just canceled you out before they even really got a thorough um, look into what it is you could possibly contribute to this dynamic. 
Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, someone um, prematurely chose a different situation because it looked good on the external, um, externally. This um, person um, had to go through some type of metamorphosis, some type of uh, transformation. This person had to do a lot of growing. This person has to do a lot of maturing. Hell, you guys were um, lifetimes apart on a mature uh, scale anyway on a maturity scale anyway so this person had to kind of ante up had to level up when it came to approaching you anyway and maybe this was just another reason um or excuse that this person used as to why this connection would never work or why they would never um deem you suitable um to collaborate or pair with because you guys just had too many barriers uh between you you had too many um, it would be an uphill battle. This person just felt like it would it would require too much effort, too much change, too much transformation, too much, um, you know, too much, just too much. You know what I mean? And this person didn't want to have to. They wanted um a microwavable type of situation, something that was already pre assembled. They didn't want to put the work in. They didn't want to. But it's interesting because the quicker you get something the quicker you lose something. Um, the less amount of effort you put into something, the easier it is for the chips to fall. Um, I definitely just feel like, uh, you know what I mean? Like you, Rome ain't building a day. You definitely can't, um, well, I don't know about y'all, but I definitely wouldn't move into a motherfucking uh, house knowing that they built that motherfucker in two days just wouldn't happen. Any storm, any uh, uh, storm, tornado, anything come, um, any kind of um, upheaval comes, uh, adversity comes, and shit, that motherfucker finna blow away. It's finna, it's finna all come tr uh, crumbling down because the foundation ain't firm enough. This person went towards something that was convenient. This person chose something that was easy, something that was microwavable, something that was, um, you know, uh, uh, prematurely accessible, uh, fast. You know what I mean? Uh, just um, fulfilling right now. They weren't thinking about long term. They weren't thinking about longevity. They weren't thinking about... Um, you know what it requires to actually um maintain um a, a dynamic such as a, a long-term commitment or relationship they weren't really thinking about um how elaborate or in-depth the process is to build something um of that type of magnitude to where it could be strong and um long-lasting to where it could, um, you know, um, what is the word I'm looking for? To where it could um, withstand a storm, withstand upheaval, withstand um, adversity, withstand uh, the rain, the clouds, turbulence. There's going to be things, adversity, there's going to be things and people that come to test your relationship all the time. Work, jobs, bosses, um, you know, past lovers, possible love interests um, outside of your relationship, um, people that look better than your person, people that have more to offer than your person. Um, there's going to be naysayers, people who are against the connection um, in general. There are going to be so much adversity that stands against your relationship. And that's, that's for any sign, that's for anybody. But do you have what it takes? Have Is your foundation firm enough to withstand the storm, withstand the adversity, withstand the turbulence, the chaos, the upheaval? Or is it just some quick, convenient ass shit that'll blow away with a quick windstorm? Blow away, um, like, 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 uh, what is it? The, um, Three Little Pigs. That story um, is a perfect example. 
this person chose the motherfucking pig with the goddamn straw house, not the brick one. Like they were literally side by side. They said, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> do you want door num what's behind door number uh one or do you want what's behind door number two? And this person blunt in 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 pure sight seen that one of these options wasn't gonna be conducive to longevity, seen all red flags behind curtain number two. Curtain number one, it was it was a sure indication. I mean, it may not have looked the part externally. It may have a, a couple of, you know, uh, rips, tears, blemishes. But it, with, it would withstand. It would carry on. You could count on what was behind door number one. Y'all know, shit, y'all know y'all didn't have like a Cutlass Supreme, Chevy Caprice, one of them old hard body ass cars. They just keep going. You could ride that motherfucker till the wheels fall off, literally. Shit, take that motherfucker to about 300 and something thousand odd miles. It just keep going and going and going and going. It's dependable. That's them thoroughbred cars. And when cars was made for real, for real. Before machines made your shit. You had motherfuckers taking their time, putting love and effort, dedication into them cars. Those cars were built strong and thorough. This motherfucker wanted a new school motherfucker, probably a younger motherfucker. Motherfucker who looked the part on the outside. Motherfucker who didn't cook clean. Motherfucker who wasn't trying to put in no work, no extra effort, none of that. They got exactly what they were looking for. Quick and easy. And just as well as they 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 got that shit quick and easy, that shit left or deteriorated or came tumbling down. Just, just quick and easy. And here you is. Still the same OG. <laughs> still built Ford Tough. Still dependable, hard body as they come. Built Ford Tough. Now this motherfucker looking at you and shit. You still rolling and shit. They car all on, on all four flats and shit. Don't even got no wheels. Up on center blocks and shit. Totaled and shit. Now they over here looking at your hard body and shit. And now you looking at them with the stank face like this lady in this beauty car. Now they starting to admire your beauty. Now they're starting to see the beauty in your and what you had to contribute. It wasn't about what you look like externally it wasn't about how people would perceive you it was about your depth it was about what you can what you could have contributed it was about what you had to offer the values that were instilled in you what you were molded to become <laughs> A wife, a partner, and a sister. You had values. You had morals. You were designed to be someone's counterpart. This person chose a motherfucker for the wrong reasonings. And they crapped out. So now they see what true beauty is. Not external shit. Not materialistic shit. The values that is with with that it that are um instilled in someone to carry them through long term. Shit. 
shit. Values and morals, self-respect, hard work, them things that your parents instill with you or at least are supposed to instill with you as a child, as a youngin. You can't buy that. It's instilled in you. And you carry on to, um, you know, give it to your kids and their kids, et cetera, et cetera. There's two type of people in this world. We ain't going to get into that because I ain't going to say one person was better than the other one. But shit, proof is in a, proof is in a pudding, Pisces. Somebody crapped the fuck out making a decision on what looks good, what looked good. But they chose a TV dinner instead of a five-star course. And they regretting it. Been on the toilet ever since, Pisces. But this week, someone is being granted, gifted, a second chance with somebody. A redo. Is being gifted, as you can see, this ancestor and this gift card at the top of the card is being granted, gifted. Maybe this person manifested. Like, I know I fucked up, ancestors. I know I fucked up. But if y'all just would give me one more chance with this person, I understand. I see things clearly now. I appreciate them. I appreciate their beauty. I appreciate their knowledge. I appreciate their values. I didn't before. And in some ways, maybe that's why this person had to uh, move toward this person before they were able to get to you. Maybe this person was placed on their path so that they could better, they could be better equipped it for you. So that they could better handle you, handle you with care. See your beauty. See your elegance. On a deeper level, this person was shallow, was surface level. Pisces, this week somebody is getting a second chance, somebody moving towards you. And it definitely feels like this person is going to um, like be very um, remorseful. Going to be uh, coming forth with a whole lot of gratitude and understanding and revelation. Going to be admitting the the wrong uh, full part that they played when it came to choosing someone else over you. Maybe even exploit some of um, the lessons they've learned. Some of the revelations that they uh, received on this journey to you. And like I said, a lot of y'all going to be like this motherfucker. So you guys are going to have the opportunity to start a uh, start over with someone. Y'all are getting a second chance to um, build a foundation with someone. Start over. Relearn someone. The right way. You guys are going to be learning a new person is what I just heard. This isn't the same person. This person has been through some things. They've went through transformation. They've learned some things. So it'll be completely up to you guys. That has been your weekly Hubcast, Pisces. Bye.